Look what happened over Thanksgiving. Not only did we get snow on a couple of the local mountains, but apparently we have mountains that I would never know about if it wasn't for the snow. Oh, Los Angeles, you bitter wench. Hi, welcome back. If you recognize this gentleman next to me, you remember him from a few episodes ago, Matt Craig. And at this time of the year, when we're feeling generous and giving and charitable, we're missing one of the most important holidays of the year. Not just Christmas, not just Hanukkah, but also something with a little bit more deep-seated heartfelt. And Matt here is to talk about it. Matt? Uh, yeah, Burrito Monday is coming up here before too long. And uh, if you're not familiar with Burrito Monday, um, as we sit and eat burritos here. Mm -hmm. It was a holiday uh, the, on December 9th, 2002. Uh, a single burrito, the original burrito, floated through Chicago and was able to feed everybody in the city of Chicago. And so every year on December 9th, uh, on the eve, on burrito Monday eve, if you put a tortilla chip on your windowsill or your, your door, that tortilla chip in the morning will be gone and that means that you're going to be visited by the original burrito and all you have to do is take a pinch of that burrito and then the burrito will go about and feed everybody in the entire world this is the first time since the actual original burrito miracle of 2002 that burrito monday traditional and burrito monday observed are actually going to fall on december 9th 2019 the first time it's happened in the since this miracle has happened so no need to celebrate it twice this year. All you have to do is know that on Monday, December 9th, you should go out and, and get yourself a burrito, share burritos with others, like Kyle and I are doing right here. We're just getting preemptively ahead of the curve for Burrito Monday. See? He's eating. Happy Burrito Monday. Okay, let's go over this for a minute. Who eats the chip when you put the chip out? Has that ever been discovered? The chip just, no, we don't know. It's... it's the idea is that it's it's sucked up into space. It goes out to let people know that you're a true burrito believer, and that you that you are one of the people who are going to partake in it. So when the original burrito is traveling around, he knows which houses to stop at, who who is supportive of his cause, his or her cause. No one's actually people just take pinches of it, so we don't really know what the gender is of it. Is there a certain kind of meat that is preferred? I think burrito. it's one of those, like, it's an all-encompassing. I think it, it, all kinds of meat. So vegetarians and vegans are also welcome. Everybody's this. welcome. It's um, truly is a non-denominational holiday. It's just about getting together and, and, and feeling the warmth of the original burrito. So Okay, now what is your involvement in it? I just happened to be there on the first, you know, on the, that first. I, we had put a tortilla chip in front of a theater called Second City. On December 9th, 2002, and um, Chicago, in Chicago. Chicago, and when I came back out, that there was like mounds and mounds of these burritos everywhere we looked. Like they weren't raining from the sky, but then this giant burrito floated down, surrounded by an aura, and we all just kind of took pinches of it. And then from there, every year, it's become this thing. There are uh, cartoons about it, and animation shows have been done about it, and, and eventually there'll be movies and books, I imagine. I think it's just now it's a groundswell kind of a thing. But like I said, we're coming up on, it's almost been almost 20 years now. And the original burrito has, has yet to fail. Season's eating. That's what everyone says. Do you ever give gifts to each other? 
to exchange such as... ideas that you should go to a place like this particular establishment or your favorite Mexican restaurant. The idea is you should buy the meal for the people behind you. And ideally, if you buy burritos for other people, then eventually everybody gets to eat a free burrito in, in hopes of actually meeting the original burrito so they can take a pinch. Is there anybody, because of their behavior, that would not be eligible to leave? Well, I think if you didn't, if you were spiteful of the holiday, or if you didn't feel comfortable sharing, uh, or if you just didn't believe in it, if you think that this is all a bunch of hooey, then I think that that, those are examples of people. And there are some people who are naysayers to it, who don't like the camaraderie of getting together and, um, you know, sharing a bit of Mexican deliciousness with each other. <clears throat> so, what if you're more into tacos or enchiladas or quesadillas? Well, I think on the day itself, it's about the burrito itself is is a, and you can look this up on Facebook. There's a page on Facebook that can help you discern some information about it. But I think the idea is just to get together and break bread, break burritos with each other. So if you love enchiladas or you love tacos, you don't have to be limited to the burrito. I don't think. I think the idea is getting together sharing the spirit of the, of the true meaning of the season which is it, it's the seasoning I think is what it really is and my final question for this is you know how they say Coca-Cola invented Santa Claus mm -hmm. are you the proprietor of Burrito Monday would you say I think I certainly have helped spread the word but again I was there who else celebrates created this would you say just there, there's, you know, there are people who make shirts now. You can buy shirts. You can buy towel. You know, like it's not unlike other places. It's kind of taken on its own life. It's become its own thing. And I'm one of many people who try and let people know about the holiday and that it's happening. But I'm one of a small army of people around the globe. Uh, and I do think that it's so. That it eventually will be a holiday that will be on calendars around the world. Happy Burrito Monday. Happy Burrito Monday. And not Happy here. Burrito Monday. Happy Burrito Monday. Mm. Hey, let's look at some weird photos, okay? Okay. So the first photo that I have for you is... I found this at the local Dollar Fifty store. It's apparently an ascot for dogs that you don't want to have come home anymore. Someone get PETA on the phone, please. This next photo, well, I'll be honest, I used to watch wrestling as a kid. And one of the most notorious badass wrestlers of the era was The Undertaker. And here's a recent photo of The Undertaker recently standing on the sidelines of a Texas A&M football game. Hook'em corpses? I don't know how the mighty have fallen. Yeah, um... At this time, we are all concerned about the undeniability of global warming. And I'm glad to see that people do their part to help. Including this Porsche parked in a clean car air spot. Just so they don't have to walk any farther to get to the store. I just have to know, at what air temperature does a douche actually spontaneously combust? Well, these next three photos I want to show you are from around the corner from an area of downtown LA called Olvera Street. Now this area is supposed to be an old town Hispanic area of how Los Angeles looked back in the day, before electricity, before it was settled as an industrial area. Again, it's around the corner from Olvera Street. Let's take a look. It's a beautiful day when, oh my God, run, uh, no, don't, don't look back. He's right behind you. Run faster, no, don't turn, don't, no, oh God, he's got you, oh God, sorry about that. I should say that I also took these photos on a Saturday afternoon when nothing was going on, there was no events going on, and a guy just decided to wear a pinata outfit and just be creepy on the streets. Maybe I need to get attention from casting directors by doing the same thing. I don't know. And finally, another discount store item I want to show you that I took a photo of. Is it just me, or does this look like my uncle? Anyway, that's the show for today. If you want to reach me, I can be reached on the social medias at Kylie Sal, K-Y-L-E-I-S-A-O. If you want to email me, askkyleaquestion at gmail.com. 
please like, distribute, show off everybody to the, the screens and everything, whatever you're doing on YouTube. I'm not sure what you're supposed to be doing, but apparently more people that see this, the better. I don't know. But please pass it off to everybody. Thank you guys all for watching. And from Hollywood, that's a wrap. Well, the next series of photos here. Yeah.